morning everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Jax or Jax plays the sims and I am so happy you're here so as you can see Sienna's here she's already started her morning and she's having an amazing time just dancing it out because there's nothing better than a solo dance to get you hyped for the day and that's exactly what she's doing I mean, just imagine this as your view, floor to ceiling windows, the sun is shining, it's early in the morning, and you're playing your favorite music on the record player, and you just dance it out. There's honestly no better way to start the day. But I'm going to have her stop dancing and have her do a little yoga sesh before I tell you the plan for today. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're going to do a little yoga routine and I want her to be happy today. So we're going to do the be happy yoga routine, even though she's already feeling really great just because of all of the self-care that she did yesterday. But she wants to continue to focus on her yoga practice. So morning yoga is an essential and the only way to become one of the best yoga teachers is to practice yoga. So that is still a goal for her. So in a few episodes, we will have her teach a yoga class. So that'll be really fun. All right. So while she does her yoga routine, I do want to tell you kind of what we're going to be doing in today's episode. So it is Saturday. Sienna's been here now for almost a full week. And she's been having a great time. She's met some amazing people. She's done some self-care. Yesterday was all about her. It was all about self-care. And she's ready to continue to nourish those relationships she started to form at the beginning of the week. So she invited all of the girls to brunch. So we are going to start the day with obviously this yoga routine. Do it. Yes, Sienna. Oh, progress, not perfection. She's doing so great. But yeah, we're going to start the day with this little yoga routine. And I'm going to have her tidy up the house a little bit. And then we're going to get ready and head to Lagoon Look with the girls. Since it is Saturday and she had a nice chill Friday night in last night, tonight will not be the same. We're going to have a little girls night out and she's going to get dressed up and go to the nightclub in Sulani and see what the vibes are. So that's the plan for Saturday. It'll be really, really fun and I'm excited for what the day brings for her. Who knows, right? Because Amara's going to be at breakfast and all of those beautiful women that she's attracted to are also going to be there. So who knows what the day will bring for her. All right. So she's finished up with yoga. So I'm going to have her vacuum lightly because the house is looking really dusty. The sunlight looks amazing, but it could look better if it weren't so dusty. So I'm going to have her vacuum. There's honestly nothing better than starting your day with a yoga routine and a clean apartment. So she's going to quickly tidy up before she heads out because she does have a busy day ahead of her. And since she's planning to go out tomorrow morning, she's not going to want to do this. So today is the day. All right, so I'm having Sienna finish up her getting ready routine. She took a shower. She's going to brush her teeth, put on her cute little outfit, apply some makeup, and then we're going to head out because we're ready to hang with the girls. She looks so pretty. This outfit on her is everything. Her blue nails are so beautiful and they suit her complexion. She just looks so stunning and I know today's going to be a great day. All right, just finishing up with some makeup and then our girl is ready to head out. She's feeling herself for real. Look at her. She should be because she looks stunning, but we're going to go ahead and head to brunch. So I will see y'all there. All right, so our girls made it to Lagoon Look and it looks a little bit different in the daytime because there's no salsa class going on i'm gonna have sienna go ahead and request one of the tables outside so they have a view of the ocean so let's go ahead and do that all right so this is the table that our girlies requested they are all heading over to grab a seat now here's Said. Gemma is walking over in the yellow and this is reina who we 
haven't quite interacted with yet. And then we have Amara on Valentina. And they all look so stunning. Ready for brunch. All right, so we do have a brunch event and there are some tasks that we have to complete. This is a mod event that I found. I'll have it linked down below. But we are just going to enjoy the girls' presence and have a couple drinks, have some food. But before we do that, I did want to show you that our girl Sienna already got an attractiveness alert for the only other girl that we haven't seen her really interact with, Reyna. You all haven't officially met Reyna, but this is Reyna Lake, and she met Sienna on that Wednesday night when all of the neighbors came over to kind of welcome her to the neighborhood and bring her some food. So that is Reyna and what else would we expect from Sienna except to get another attractiveness alert? Nothing new here. Oh my god. Not me just on pausing the game and Sade is already hitting her with a suggestive look. Did it go away that fast? No, except... We are accepting that suggestive look because Sienna is definitely attracted to her and would definitely accept that look. All right, so let's just chat it up with the girls. Let's thank Gemma for coming. She was one of the first girls that kind of welcomed us into the group. So let's just thank her. Thank you so much, Gemma, for coming and for introducing me to your little community that you have here. I'm so thankful. All right. And we also have not seen Amara since she left our apartment. So let's talk to her and see how she's been the la these last couple of days. breathtaking encounter that's definitely from looking at reyna oh lord sienna is a hot commodity today two suggestive looks in a matter of minutes sienna is really killing it today but we're gonna go ahead and order for the table because the point of brunch is to grab drinks so we're gonna do that i'm gonna get them all a glass of wine and what we're going to do is pretend that it's a mimosa because the mimosa comes in this awful glass and that's not what we do in real life and it just doesn't look cute so we're not doing that we're gonna get a meat platter for our bougie girlies and i see reina and valentina being the bougie girlies we're gonna get the cheese platter for sienna and amara and then all right it seems like Gemma wants a pita and hummus tapa, and Sade wants a Caesar salad. All right, so let's go ahead and place our order. I can't believe that Sienna has just accepted the advances of both Amara and Sade. We're going to blow a kiss, though, to Amara because, you know, we haven't seen her in a couple days. Cute. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, Sienna got a milestone. It says she fell in love. Sienna fell in love with Amara Rincon. Girl. Girl. You know, I don't know if I believe this, to be honest. I don't know if she's in love. I think it's more of an infatuation than it is love i don't think she's in love i think she's infatuated if anyone's in love it's definitely amara and why is this an awkward encounter uh oh things have become somewhat tense try telling a joke or chatting with another sim things are probably tense because i accepted both amara and sade's advances so we're just gonna tell a little joke about politicians you know see if that makes anything better but this is definitely a vibe. Imagine sitting beachside grabbing bunch with the girls. Definitely a really great way to spend your Saturday. Sade is also really flirty, but we definitely want to be careful because 
we haven't had a conversation with Amara about what our relationship looks like. So we're just going to be careful. We're going to be careful. Oh, wow. Our food is here already. Really fast service. Thank you so much. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but phone always eats first. So we're going to have Sienna take pictures of her food. Do not. Of course, she went straight for the mimosa. But let's take a picture. Oh, Gemma's so pretty. Yellow's her color. All right, this looks really good. This is a really good looking cheese plate. All right, now that I've taken pictures of her food she can go ahead and eat and because we had a little awkward encounter with Amara we're gonna tell her a joke to kind of break the ice but yeah let's tell a joke about ducks why not all right it seems like they're having a really great time Amara is still really flirty I can it still says awkward encounter. I really wonder what happened when she blew a kiss at her. All right, I think we're going to get another round of drinks. Yeah, we're going to get another round of drinks before we close out the tab. All right, let's see what Pedro has to say. Guess what? My date with Candy Bear went well. All we can say is congrats, but in reality... We don't care and we wish that it didn't. Whatever. Ugh, that sim is hideous. Let's talk about our emotional connection with the Mara. And yes, we're going to do it across the table because Sienna's feeling bold. Okay, Sienna's feeling bold. Oh, look, we made it pleasant. So what I'm getting from this is that... Amara is really in tune with her emotions, and I think just blowing a kiss made her feel some type of way. All right, so it is four o'clock, so once they get their last round of drinks, I'm going to have Sienna head home and kind of relax a little bit before getting ready for her night out. Not Amara not eating her food. Girl, this is why you be getting lit. Not our mom calling to chat, so... Our mom is actually coming to visit later this week, so I'm going to ignore it because she is out with the girls right now. You're drunk from one drink? Oh my god, she has to be a lightweight because I don't understand. Ooh, maybe getting another drink wasn't a good idea. I think we're going to regret this, but whatever. What a beautiful day. She came out to brunch, the sun is setting and it's been honestly lovely kind of just talking to the girls and getting to know them a little bit more i'm starting to realize just how beautiful sulani is because i'm really immersing myself in this world and i just love everything about this world but we're gonna go ahead and end the meal and pay for the table all right so before we end the event i am gonna have her take selfie this time with Sade just to kind of build that friendship and also just remember this beautiful brunch moment that they had together oh so pretty the lighting is honestly amazing wow stunning girlies we're also we're gonna take a picture of the sunset because it looks really beautiful and then we're gonna end the event and head home because sienna needs a nap amara are you crying because i didn't take a selfie with you like it's gonna be all right y'all i think sienna needs a picture like this this is so beautiful not her taking girlfriend pictures Stop it. Okay, so this is so cute. Uh, this isn't even a pose. She just turned around to walk away as she usually does. But she looks so beautiful. Ugh. It's giving Sienna in Sulani. It's giving Eat, Meditate, Love. It's giving Paradise. It's giving She Doesn't Look Exhausted. It's giving peaceful and I am so here for it. The golden hour is the best hour. 
All right, so our girl Sienna is literally dying. She needs to go to sleep. So I'm going to end the event. We had a great brunch, amazing time. And we're just going to head home. So I will see you guys there. All right, so we have made it home. And I am just going to have Sienna sleep this drunkenness off. I can't believe she's drunk off of two drinks. But we're just going to have her, we're just going to have her sleep. I just can't believe, one, that she's so exhausted and that she got so drunk. She said, uh, out to lunch. She's feeling good. I saw something about the brunch. Oh, brunch was okay. Sienna went out with some friends. She didn't get to do everything else she wanted, but it was nice to socialize with friends. So it was decent. Amara, we're not going to hop on a plane and go to the romance festival, okay? We're not doing that. We... We just can't, okay? That's not realistic. Also, I just saw you and I'm exhausted and we have plans to go out tonight. So I don't know why you would think that was okay. All right, so I'm gonna let Sienna sleep for a bit and then I will see you guys in a couple hours. All right, so I'm gonna have Sienna wake up, run to the bathroom and make herself a cup of coffee because we are going out so she needs to power through and we're gonna go have a good time all right so we're gonna make her just an espresso she just needs a shot to kind of boost her energy because i don't want her to get sleepy while she's out all right girl drink that espresso come on yep yes that's the energy we're dancing tonight that's the energy we need all right so sienna is ready for her first night out in sulani and she looks hot she looks so good y'all i'm in love with her she looks so good all right i'll see you guys at the club all right, so the girls have arrived to Sulani Rooftop and Restaurant. This build is originally by someone else on the gallery. I have completely changed the interior and added a couple floors to make it a multifunctional nightclub, restaurant, and kind of like rooftop bar. So I'm really excited to get good use of this spot but for tonight we are only going to be in the nightclub and it is outdoors so we get to enjoy the view of Sulani and all of the girls are here so let's go ahead and have some drink also before we go inside not Sienna and Amara both wearing blue Reina is too but that's a pattern. You know, it's a print. It doesn't count, but they're in sync. And we are going to order. Oh, she's going to be so, so messed up tonight. Let's get. Ooh. We're going to get the Lada Coco Lada because we're in Sulani and that's a vibe. So we're going to do that for the group. She wants to perform a group dance because we're here at the nightclub, so maybe we will. What is that flirty? Feeling smitten. Oh, she's thinking about Amara. All right, so, oh, people are showing up. Love this for them. But she's starting off by just ordering them a drink. Not Sage sitting right next to her. Amara's not here. Oh. Don't come next to us. We're going to flirt with Sade. Don't, don't come next to us. Let's flirt. Let's flirt. Hopefully Amara doesn't see. That would be awkward. Oh, she did it. Oh, Sade is very receptive. Ooh, Amara. Oh, no. We just lost romance with Amara. She saw it. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Let's. Where? Oh shoot. Oh, she's gonna try and blow her a kiss. I didn't do that, but Amara is so sad. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh no. 
Sienna, I'm sorry. That was so messy of me. Oh, but she's still receptive to the kiss. So maybe we can go and like talk to her and see if everything is all right. So we followed Amara into the bathroom. <gasps> oh, she forgive us. Okay, it seems like she forgave us. There was a smile there. Right? I don't know if I'm wrong. Well, we're going to try and cheer her up. She's definitely really upset, but we're going to try and cheer her up. Right, so she's trying to cheer her up. Uh, but she's still upset. Oh my god. Willow Banks. She's, she's pretty. I get it. I get it. But one thing at a time. All right, so they're sitting down and chatting and Sienna just told Amara that she brings so much joy and laughter into her life and that she's glad they're friends. And Amara agrees. They're both happy to be friends, but I can tell that Amara is definitely upset that we upset Amara, so we are going to try and have a conversation about exclusivity, but yeah, she's definitely, she's definitely upset that she made her feel bad. Let's see what Amara says. So it seems like Amara prefers non-exclusive relationships. I honestly was not expecting that from her, but... This is good. Oh, Amara's feeling better. Oh, I'm so glad. She's feeling confident. Okay, so Amara's feeling better. So we're just gonna, we're gonna give her a little kiss. And we are going to dance with her because now she's feeling better. We talked about exclusivity and it seems like we're on the same page um, about referring non-exclusive relationships. So we're gonna dance with her. They're so cute. All right, let's see y'all dancing. Come on. Oh, they're so cute. All right, I'm glad that Amara's feeling better. I feel really bad that he was upset about just like Sienna flirting with Sade, but they're happy now and they're dancing and they look so cute and happy honestly it's like no one else is here and i love that for them oh wow okay all right all right they're so cute wow we <gasps> that sim is irresistible sienna has a major crush on amara so she just got a new little sentiment I did download a little mod that allows adults to have brushes, so that is really cute. And I'm so glad Amara is feeling better. I really felt bad that she was, you know, so disappointed. But because of that, and because Sienna also felt bad, we're going to ask her to have a non-exclusive relationship. It's not exclusive, but we're just like defining the terms of our being together right we're enjoying each other's company we're just solidifying the fact that we're not going to be jealous if you know she's flirting with someone else i flirt with someone else you know it's not exclusive so in the future if amara does see her flirting with someone else she won't be upset and now that we've kind of defined our relationship we're just going to give her have a nice little intimate kiss but I think this will be really good for them because it seems like they both really care about each other. Seeing that Amara got upset about seeing her flirt with someone and Sienna was upset that Amara was upset. So I think it just makes sense that they would kind of just make it clear that they care about each other, but that they're non-exclusive. And they really look like they care about each other. That was really cute. So we're definitely going to ask Amara to spend the night because things have been going really well tonight. And like I was saying, things have been going really well. And it only makes sense that, you know, she would spend the night with us. Did she say yes? Yes, she did. All right. The girls are going to do a little group dance. Let's see it, girls. So cute. Get it. Yo, I think Valentina is so pretty. 
I love her. She's so pretty. She's literally the definition of glam. And I'm obsessed. But they're all doing their little group dance. Come on, Gemma, join in. Yes. I'm obsessed with them. I'm actually so surprised about Amara being okay with a non-exclusive relationship. But they're happy. So I'm just going to let them be non-exclusive. Because I think... Oh. <laughs> okay. I think because of all the moodlets that would make the both of them happy because now neither one of them gets hurt and they know where they stand with each other all right so it's getting late so i'm gonna have amara and sienna head home now so i'll see you when they're there right, so our girls just made it home from the nightclub and they're both feeling very flirty they danced the night away made it exclusive and they've just been flirting with each other all night. Even after she kind of upset Amara, they were able to come back from that and, you know, have conversations like adults. So I'm really proud of Sienna. All right. So while they talk, let's see how she's feeling. So, oh, Sienna can't stop laughing. That joke Amara just told her was way too good. After being dazzled by that marvelous bit of humor, Sienna is thinking about jokes and how great they can be for a conversation. Yes, she does. But wait, what did I just see? What did I just see? OMG. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what? Okay. Totally in love. I was like, well, I mean, I guess I knew she was, you know, she had fallen in love, but above saying that she's in love that's different but this is from the grinding with having a high relationship sienna likes when she is kissed by her lover fresh and frisky from attempting romance while in clean surroundings a special connection from feeling close with someone nearby oh, looking memories because they made breakfast together and from their romantic agreement opening the relationship Sienna and a romantic interest agreed to open up the relationship. This is good news for Sienna and her preference for non-exclusive relationships. So she's honestly so happy that they were able to be mature about this. And she's so happy that Amara is on the same page as her in wanting non-exclusive relationships. They both really care about each other. So I'm glad that Amara was on the same page. All right, we're... We're not doing this. Not doing this. Let's see if they will. I want to see if they like woohoo on their own. Not now. Because if not, I'm going to make them do it. <laughs> but I want to see if like Amara or her initiate it. Let's go. Do a cuddle from behind. Get her to stand up. Feeling flirty from that alcohol. All right. I think I'm just going to have to do it for them because they did make the relationship non-exclusive, you know? So why not? All right. It is 6 a.m. and our girls are now. They're going to woohoo. We asked her. I know Sienna wanted it. I know she did. Go ahead, girls. Go have some fun. Break out the candles. Make it romantic. Sienna is about to woo for the first time. Oh. Stop. This is... They're so cute. You know, I'm so happy for Sienna. She found someone who can agree to having an open relationship where she's allowed to embrace who she is. You know, she's someone that just has a wandering eye and Mara I guess does too they're so cute stop oh that's so cute oh uh, that means they had a good time I love that for them all right Sienna girl we gotta go to sleep it's 7 a.m come on now all right so they are both heading to bed at 7 30 in the morning and Sienna is a big spoon this time. How cute. I think Sienna had a great night. I'm not going to lie. I really do think she had a great night. So I'm going to let them sleep for a couple hours. And I will see y'all when they're awake. 
All right, so Sienna's still sleeping, but I'm going to have her wake up soon. But while she was sleeping, she was daydreaming about that woman who she, she didn't even meet, Willow Banks, at the nightclub. She didn't even meet this woman. She is daydreaming about her. So we're going to have to see if we somehow bump into her again. Sienna's something else. Like, you literally just wooed with amara for the first time you had a great night i guess this is why she's in an open relationship because she's just attracted to so many people um she wants to explore that so we're we're gonna let her we're gonna have sienna wake up it seems like amara left she probably had to go to work or something all right so what i'm gonna have her do is use the bathroom and feed herself and then we'll kind of see how she's feeling from there yeah it says she wants to cook an excellent meal so we're gonna try to do that right now all right so what will we make today you know what we're just gonna have her make scrambled eggs and bacon and we'll do a single serving all right, so yeah, she's feeling incredibly hungover. She literally spent yesterday drinking, so I completely get that. So today's going to be a very chill day. I think we're going to head to the beach and maybe just try some of that local food that I mentioned I wanted her to try before, but she's too hungry to kind of wait it out. So I'm going to have her eat here. Yeah, then we'll probably shower and head to the beach. So much happened yesterday. I know Sade was trying to put the moves on her. So much happened. And, you know, Amara was upset because she saw her flirting. It was just a very chaotic night, but it ended in the best way possible for Sienna. All right. So she somehow managed to cook an excellent meal. So I applaud her. But yeah, we're going to head to the beach after this. And it's just going to be a very chill day because she's really hungover. And yesterday she was so busy. It was just full of activities. So we're just going to take it easy. All right. So Sienna is dressed and ready for the beach. But she's getting in a little hype herself up dance before she heads there. Because it's so hungover that, you know, she's trying to make herself feel good. So she's working on it. But I'm gonna go on and head over to the beach, so I'll see you guys there. All right, so we've made it to the beach, and you'll see we've been here before. We've been to San Simoleon Beach. So we are back, and it's a lovely, lovely day. The sun is out, so I am gonna have Sienna relax on the lounge chairs because she is actually now feeling hungover. The hangover wasn't affecting her before, but now she has a massive hangover, so hopefully relaxing on one of the lounge chairs will help kind of reduce that hangover so let's go ahead and have a nice relaxing beach day all right so i'm having sienna come and relax on the lounge chair this is very much a vibe she's feeling hungover and instead of spending the day at home you know sleeping all day watching tv she decided to kind of get some fresh air and to continue to immerse herself in her new home. Sulani is slowly becoming her home. She doesn't yet have a job, but she has her blog. She has her little community of friends and she's doing it. She's doing what she came here to do. She's relaxing she's eating meditating and definitely loving but she's really you know trying these new hobbies and kind of trying to figure out what will bring her the most joy um we're actually now she finished relaxing and it did help because before it said four hours so now i think we're just going to resume her knitting project I will say Sienna's definitely living her best life. She doesn't know how to knit, but she's not letting that stop her from kind of trying to figure it out on her own. You know, she's teaching herself how to do yoga, right? She started on her own. She's teaching herself how to knit. She started a blog, right? We're not just sitting around in Sulani. We're actively trying new things and... Kind of trying to figure out 
what brings us the most joy all right so i'm gonna have sienna stop knitting because the sun is starting to set and i do want her to go for a swim but she did have a buff that she's got a blog about so sienna just had a blog worthy experience you should blog about it while it's still fresh so maybe when we head home we'll write a blog post all right we're gonna take off the cover up and put on our bathing suit and we're gonna go for a swim come on sienna let's go swimming i haven't had her swim frequently enough so she's still kind of waiting around the water <laughs> one day though she will be oh my god don't run us over thank you but i do want her to swim kind of like the experts okay so we do need to raise her fitness skill it's only i think on level two she only has a level two fitness skill so we're gonna have to maybe do some daily swimming or something but i also don't want her to like get super skinny because i know working out does that like i don't need her to lose weight and she doesn't want to lose weight like she's happy she's very confident she's a self-assured sim so she's very happy with like what she looks like so i don't want her to get super skinny all right so sienna's not that hungry but i do want her to try some food that's native to Sulvani. so we're gonna do because she's not that hungry we're gonna try the grilled fruit and maybe when we come back to the beach with our mom we'll come with an empty stomach and try something else but for now we'll just try the grilled fruit hey can i have some grilled fruit please i want to try it i've heard it's amazing thank you all right so it looks like some plantains and apples it does not look that appetizing so i hope it tastes better than it looks seems like it smells good ah what we don't even have a romance thing with her girl girl oh my god is she serious oh my god this makes no sense. She prefers non-exclusive relationships. We have not even flirted with Gemma once. She was flirty on the first day, but we have not flirted with her once. I don't know why she would ever... I'm so confused. All right, I do think Gemma is in the neighborhood because it said, focus the camera. Yes, she's in here and she's sweaty is she sweaty because she was in the sauna or is she sweaty because she was doing something that is the question i wanted her to build a sand castle Ugh. okay we're just gonna i'm i'm crying i wanted her to build a sand castle but we're just gonna find out because we just need to know girl not you running to find out trying to make her your girlfriend like that would have made sense to me if he was talking about Said, but gamma like that's so random all right let's find out we're just we're being very straightforward here very blunt because we're in an open relationship and we're not gonna waste our time hi gemma so i was wondering are you are you into women what is it let's see sienna has learned oh you see not even attracted to women not even attracted to women so we're just gonna pop this little bubble all right so that was literally so unexpected i don't know why the game thought that she would want Gemma to be her girlfriend they literally have never flirted ever Gemma was flirty the first day that you know she met Sienna but flirty not flirting with her so there's a difference but we got clarity you know if there's one thing that Sienna's gonna do is be straightforward and upfront and get answers and she got them so all right but anyways it is 9 p.m so we're just gonna go on and head home so I will see y'all there
All right, so Sienna made it home and she just showered. So I'm gonna have her come on the computer and write that blog post that she was inspired to write. So we're gonna do a general personal post. Since we haven't blogged in a couple of days, we're also gonna engage with our followers. So let's engage and we'll chat. Sienna has gained 50 followers. She now has 125 followers in total. So she still has a one star blog, but once she gets maybe two stars, like more options will open up for her. But yeah, we're still low. So let's check our blog stats and see kind of how we're doing. And it is late, but Sienna also woke up late, so she's not that tired. So Sienna has 200 followers, has written two blog posts, has zero featured blog posts, and achieved a zero blog stars rating and raised dollars in support of the blog. Okay, so the blog is not doing well, but I think we started a couple days ago, so I guess we just have to be more consistent and we will okay it's been a few days but we'll get there we have 200 followers progress progress i'm just gonna have sienna make herself some hot chocolate i was gonna have her grab a glass of wine but because she was hungover today and she drank last night or i should say all day yesterday we're gonna avoid kind of one becoming addicted to alcohol and two getting another hangover and becoming really drunk because our mom is coming to visit tomorrow so we want to have you know all of the energy that we need and we want to feel good when she gets here all right, so Sienna is ending her night with a big old cup of hot chocolate. Nice little cooking channel, and it was honestly the perfect way to end her night. She was out all night last night, so this was just what she needed today. A trip to the beach, some local food, and a nice little night nap before she heads to bed. All right, so I'm having Sienna come on up to bed and she's just going to call it a day. It is time for her to head to sleep, so she's going to do that. And we're just going to close out the video right here. She's had an amazing first week in Sulani. Tomorrow will be one whole week and Sulani and her mom is coming to visit so I will see you all next time and if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye